Hello friends, welcome to Cumberland County Public Library and Information Center virtual story time for school age. Today we're going to do something fun. We're going to be talking about winter. And I have here some cool books that can you can check out from your local branch about winter. First of all, this is called Winter is Coming. This is a cool story about a little girl who takes her notepad and her pencil and her binoculars and she observes what happens to the animals during winter time. Be sure to check it out. It is written by Tony Johnston. Winter is coming. Second, I have Snow. And Snow is written by Roy McKee and P.D. Eastman. It's a cool story about two friends who go out and see what kind of activities you can do when there's snow outside. Next, one of my favorites. This is called The Mitten, and it was written by Jan Brett. This is a story of some friends that find a mitten. Be sure to check it out and see what happens when they find the mitten. Now, you have to get The Snowy Day by Ezra Jacks Keats. It won an actual Caldecott Award. It's about a little boy who gets all dressed up in his snowsuit and goes out to explore the snow. Next, we have another Jan Britt story, and it's called Snowy Nap. Snowy Nap is about Hedgie the Hedgehog who sleeps all during winter and when he wakes up his friends tell him everything he's missed. So Hedgie decides next winter he's staying up. Last but certainly not least is one of my favorite books of all time now and this is called The Most Perfect Snowman, and it was written by Chris Britt. This is the story of Drift. When Drift got built, he got built fast. He didn't have any of the things that the other snowmen had, like hats or a carrot nose or a scarf or mittens. He was just snow with two sticks and some little things to make his mouth and eyes. He was really sad. And the other snowman teased him. But some little friends came along and helped him out. Be sure to read The Most Perfect Snowman by Chris Britt. <laughs> All right, friends, now we're going to do a flannel story. And the title of this flannel story is The Little Old Woman Who Wanted All the Cakes. A long time ago, a little old woman loved to bake cakes. She baked morning, noon, and night. She baked the best cakes ever. Well, one day, a little old man came by her house and he was really cold because it was winter time and it was snowing and he knocked on the door and the little old woman said how is it what do you want and the little old man said please please missus i heard you bake the best cakes ever could you make me just one one little small cake and the little old woman said Ugh. all right so she went in her kitchen and she started to bake the cake. Well, when the cake came out, it looked like this, and it looked delicious. And the little old woman said, oh, this cake is too big for that little old man. I can't let him have this cake. I need it for myself. So she went, nom, 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 nom. And she ate it all up. And she went over and she said to the little old man, I'm sorry, the cake was, wasn't right. Um, you got to go. And the little old man said, please, please, I'm starving and it's so cold out there. Please, just one little cake. And the little old woman said, all right, I'll go bake another cake. So she went in her kitchen. She put together all the ingredients to make a cake. And this time she took a little pinch and she put it in the oven. And when it came out, ah! Oh, it was bigger than the other one. And she said, oh no, what is going on here? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna eat this cake for me. And she ate it all. 
And she went to the little old man and she said, listen, I'm sorry, something's going on. The cakes aren't coming out right. You got to go. And the little old man said, please, I just one more time. Just please try for me one more time. And the little old lady said, oh, okay, one more time. So she went in her kitchen. She pinched off just a teeny tiny piece of dough. And she put it in the oven. And she waited and waited. And when it came out, it was an even bigger cake. And she said, oh my goodness, it looks delicious. And it's much too big for that little old man. I'm going to eat it myself. And she ate it herself. She ate it all up. And she went to the little old man. She said, I'm sorry. You got to go. No more cakes. Nothing. You got to go. And the little old man said, you know what? That was not very nice. You don't know how to share. So you need to be where you can not have to share and have to get your own food. So you're going to not be human anymore and turn into a bird. And the little old lady said, ha! Yeah, right. And the little old man said, and you're going to have to peck for your food. And the little old lady said, <laughs> yeah, right. And the little old man left. And that night, when the little old lady was getting ready for bed, she decided to look in the mirror and she said, oh my goodness, I feel kind of different here. I, I don't feel like, and something happened. She began to change. And when she looked in the mirror, sure enough, she had turned into a bird, a woodpecker to be exact. And you know what woodpeckers do? They have to peck for their food and then they store it in trees. And that's the end. And the moral of this story is sometimes it's just good to share. The end. <laughs> All right, friends, it's craft time, and today we're going to be making your very own little woodpecker. So, all you need is some red construction paper, some black construction paper, and yellow construction paper. Some scissors, glue, and string. What you're going to do is you're going to cut off whatever size you would like, of red paper. That's going to be your woodpe woodpecker's head. And you're going to fold it like so and glue it. Then you're going to cut off a black strip. This is going to be the woodpecker's body. Fold it the same way and glue it. And you're going to put the head, you're going to glue the head on top of the body. Yeah, like that. Okay? Afterwards, you're going to make two little feet by using the black paper. Be sure to bend them so they look like little legs, little feet. And you're going to cut off a piece of your yellow paper. You only need a very small part of this. And you're going to make the beak. All you have to do is fold. And you're going to use a little bit of string to put at the top of your woodpecker. And when you're finished, your very own little woodpecker. All right, friends, it's time to say goodbye. And be sure to check us out on www.cumberland.lib.nc.us. Have fun. Mm -hmm.